So UCRIC is a collaboration of currently about 14 UK universities and we're focused on carrying out research and delivering the results of research that will help address the main challenges associated with infrastructure and cities. So in infrastructure, it's how to make it adaptable, resilient, reliable, affordable, robust, sustainable and maintainable. And for cities, it's very much about how people can all live together, healthy and happy lives at very large population densities. And the two are completely intertwined because cities rely on infrastructure to move around people, goods and services, both within them, between them, and to connect them to their hinterland. We're also going to address the key challenges which are set by the government's industrial strategy of transformational mobility, a happy and healthy living for all, clean growth, and the impact of artificial intelligence, robotics, and big data on our lives. Infrastructure systems lie at the heart of all of that. Looking at how resources flow, looking at how people move around and so on. But what we recognised was that we needed to reintegrate all of the infrastructure activity and that was the problem because the governance had been designed in such a way as to separate things and what we had to do was counteract 40 years of separation into 40 years of bringing everyone together to collaborate in solutions at the level of a city, level of a region and in some cases at the level of the nation and that is still work in progress. It has been the major problem is to recognise that collaboration at scale as opposed to competition at scale is the major obstacle to delivering joined up infrastructure that will be resilient, sustainable and fit for purpose, particularly in combating climate change. I'm a civil engineer and I always interpret civil engineering in its broadest sense. So I naturally hit all three pillars of sustainability. I engineer for society, within and in harmony with the natural environment and uh, to greatest economy or rather to deliver greatest value out of what I do. Civil engineering is a discipline which is defined by its application domain which is essentially cities and infrastructure. So civil engineers have so far really been at the heart of the Eucharic project. However, many of the problems that we are trying to address are not necessarily solvable by technology. You could even say that sometimes it's technology that creates the problems. So the solutions to those problems are very often different. They involve different disciplines, social science, political science, economics. So UCRIC is very cross-disciplinary. It involves all of those disciplines. It will eventually become transdisciplinary as the things that we research and develop become recognised as a discipline in their own right and we develop the cohorts of people that we need to solve these huge problems that we currently face going forward. Some of the societal benefits uh, of the UCRIC projects uh, include providing infrastructure that is uh, cheaper, more affordable uh, for people, more reliable, uh, and also lowering the cost of use and delivery of the infrastructure. It's also going to be possible to train a new generation of infrastructure engineers in the UK who will deliver those services and hopefully help other countries deliver the services as well. Why would I recommend engineering for a young person? Well, for the sheer diversity uh, and scale of the problems that need to be addressed in dealing with our ageing infrastructure and providing our new infrastructure. Uh, if you're numerate, creative, a problem solver, enjoy teamwork and working on really large open-ended problems, it really is a fantastic career and I would recommend it to any young person.